The Mean Greens is a short and sweet game. Multiplayer only, it is still quite enjoyable to play. Invoking the spirit of the Army Man series, where we incarnate toy soldiers thrown around the real world settings fighting to the bitter end, we have a couple of maps available to us with each their own specific objectives. We have the Capture the Flag, Team Deathmatch, Free For All, all set in very different settings with interesting characteristics to each of these maps. The only problem is that we are limited to only 10 maps at the moment and it's already been a year the game is out and doesn't seem like there's much development ongoing on these new maps. But since there are only 10 maps and a match usually lasts up to 10 minutes, you'll get around them quite fast, which is a little bit sad, but it's part of the game, you know? The mechanics is very interesting, although. The controls feels right at home, you have a good control over the character with the third person view, and you have access to a wide range of weapons. You have the automatic rifle, a pretty standard issue gun, nothing too unusual. You also have a sniper, which can be quite useful for long range shooting, you also have a shotgun, which is useful for short range shooting. And you have a mighty bazooka that takes a while to reload. And we also have the flamethrower. That's not really a good weapon. It deals very little damage and it's pretty hard to use because it's very, very close proximity to, to be able to hit the enemy. And the only real use of the flamethrower is to complete the objectives of the maps. And strangely enough, barely a few seconds we already spoke about everything around the game. For the price, it's not that bad. I still got a couple of hours of enjoyment out of it. But I did also get some hours of frustration. Uh, there seems to be a lot of bugs. I've been getting a lot of high latency games, but at the same time it's probably due to the hours I'm playing where it's not really my region that's more active and I'm probably connecting throughout in Europe or something, which makes the game really unenjoyable when it's lagging around and you just get shot behind covers, but still pretty fun when you actually get a good streak on your side. So for the price, I'd say wait for a sale, because at full price it's not really worth it, but still getting some enjoyment. I personally got it in the Humble Bundle a couple days back. Hopefully you've enjoyed this short review, and if you did, make sure to give a subscribe, and maybe watch these videos too. See you next time.